Hello Taurus, welcome to your About Your Twin Flame reading. Let's go ahead and find out about your twin flame. Let me know in the comments below, have you had a twin flame experience? There we go. Honor the masculine, that's just perfect because, you know, this is a divine masculine, which is the counterpart to the divine feminine, and they belong together, you know. Isn't that beautiful? And it's also not about your physical self. It's about the spirit. It's about your consciousness, you know. And some of us are in a female body with a masculine energy. Yeah, honoring the masculine. So... Let's keep going and find out more about honoring the masculine, placing him above, up, above all else. He is on a pedestal. He is the love. Tell me more about this. Receptivity, allowing. Receptivity is all about allowing the energy to flow. Okay, it's about that, that heart space between you and your masculine unless you are the masculine then that would be you and your love um, this is a even flow allow yourself to give and allow yourself to receive okay how beautiful i love that okay so let's keep going and get some more information out shall we tell me a little bit more about receptivity for my Taurus and their twin flame it's about giving and receiving oh my uh, so this is all about the unity connect connectedness harmony okay it's all about the flow uh, and this is bloom recognition acknowledgement being seen so yeah it's all about receptivity it's all about uh, uh, giving and receiving recognizing one another really seeing the light like that namaste namaste the light within me recognizes or or sees the light within you it's all about i see you for for the you know the energy within as opposed to you know um seeing the surface level i see you deep within i see your soul okay that is what this is and you're both doing this with each other okay this is about you know honoring the masculines placing him on a pedestal now tell me more about this tell me more spirit about the masculine unless you are the masculine then you know perhaps you need to um you need to place yourself a bit higher have a little bit more uh i guess um self-love you know place yourself higher uh, there's I've got my star seed cards here somewhere and uh, one of the cards are set your sights higher here they are uh, they're not star seed cards but I feel that they are uh, and this is there's a card here that and this is a, a message for the masculine um, to set your sights higher and now if it's meant to come I'll find it it's all about setting your sights higher, placing the bar uh, a little bit higher, you know, and seeing yourself there, Hunter and the Air Guardian. Wow, that's beautiful. I was really hoping that set your sights higher will come out, but it didn't. So I paused the video just so that I could find it. And with this card, love and let yourself be loved, I felt that was the same message and we've also got to set your sights higher um, and that's what I was really seeing with this for the Divine Masculine 
okay so the two cards that did come out for you are the hunter track down your fears and your desires what are you afraid of okay and what do you desire and reaching out for what you want you know and, and i guess working through your fears to get to what you want and shifting your perception and that's really what I was saying about setting your sights higher, placing yourself on a bit of a higher pedestal, seeing yourself, uh, I guess, from the eyes of spirit, from the eyes of the one that loves you or is in love with you. Because sometimes we find it hard to see ourselves um, like that, you know, but I feel that this is really important. Um, okay for you to see yourself just that little bit more worthy of a great love okay so we've got tenacity here it's all about the loyalty and also determinedness perhaps even a little bit stubborn um you know some stubborn blockages spirits showing me some blockages that need to be released possibly from past hurts perhaps you've had a love in the past that's made you feel down maybe even put you down um didn't have a lot of respect for you sometimes these energies get stuck within us and um, block our view uh, from how we see each other uh, sorry ourselves and yeah maybe even each other but see ourselves you know in the mirror a bit of body dysmorphia we see ourselves in a way that is incorrect we need to shift our perception um, so that we see ourselves clearly okay and a bit of stubbornness probably you know not wanting to let go of that conditioning um, however spirit is asking you um, to see yourself clearly okay this is about putting a mask on um, and I feel this mask is on you all the time uh, even to yourself tell me more about this for my Taurus oh my it's like the same cards are coming out for you taurus um i think these cards came out before so this is illuminating the snake and ending that okay i'm pretty sure these cards came out for your last reading that i just did for you today so the mask what is hidden that um I guess perception that is incorrect of what you have about yourself um, and this is all about illuminating the snake that toxicity those toxic thoughts and ending that because something beautiful is coming in someone that has the equal give and take uh, of love and seeing you um, in a way of oh my gosh this person's amazing um, and sometimes it's really hard for us to imagine anybody seeing us in that way. But when it comes to a twin flame, of course they do because it goes deeper than the physical. It's about looking into each other's eyes and seeing your, each other's soul. <clears throat> and when it comes to a soul point of view, it, it's important to see ourselves um, clearly okay so we have again a message um which is so important you know because it's the same message as your last reading so it's phenomenal um so yeah there is a message and there's a lot of emphasis today on the masculine um so we've got the male uh, receives a letter about long term okay this is two to five years uh so it could even be what are your goals for the next five years or something along those lines that makes you think this person's for real tell me a little bit more about this for my taurus and their twin flame situation constellation someone that you see or hear from sometimes you miss this person or they're missing you a lot of sorrow um, because they really want the commitment they really want the the ring okay the the i do so we've got 
disappointed. Okay, a disappointed lover. Tell me more about this. Okay, because they're missing you. They're longing for you. Sometimes when we don't have a lot of self-value or have that past conditioning, um, we don't, I guess, feel worthy of that kind of reverence. Okay, but Spirit is saying that you know, you have someone out there that really, really loves you, that is very much in love with you, that is longing for you. Uh, this is an invitation to go out and, and to meet or to have an event together. This is an invitation to go somewhere for a couple of drinks or, or to talk or, you know, to hang out. All right, someone that's longing for you and missing you is going to send you a message to go somewhere with them. And Spirit's saying, just do it. I think it's beautiful. It could very well be your twin flame. All right, Taurus, what beautiful messages for you. Pretty, um, you know, intense. Uh, and it go goes straight to the heart, uh, I feel, this time. Uh, if you're interested in a mini reading, they're $40. I also offer extended reading options. Check it out in the description box below. It's all my info and I send you lots of love, well wishes and blessings. Bye for now.